All right, guys. Uh, victory on this side. I got the rock cover out, as you guys can see. Yeah, definitely. The issue was with those uh, short tubes. Obviously, they're the original ones. So what you got to do is just the way as you can. I mean, just try to like open one side, and then what I ended up using was the same hose pick, kind of like on the side, and then going around and kind of like prying it down. Because, yeah, this is, it has these uh, grooves in here that holds it very well on the on the rock cover. So, as you can see, the rock cover is, is perfect. The seal, no matter what, is, is right here on the side, not on the edge, where you will, you know, kind of like put some marks with your screwdriver, peak, whatever you're, you're using to get this out. And, uh, yeah, definitely, I will be getting the um black cover clean and and i put this actually <laughs> as you can see i got this full so for now i guess it's gonna have to stay here so now i'm going to start with the next one and see how it goes so this one is less room with that uh the steering shaft in there so we'll see that's why this is so many hours to do a job like that. All right, guys, so let me proceed. And, uh, well, let me show you a little bit more of how that looks inside since we got it open. As you can see, this is the same system. It's a Banos uh, motor. So we have the uh, eccentric shaft. We got the rollers. We got the sensor at the back. Oh, I forgot to, let me throw this garbage in. The way you get this uh, bar cover out, at least the one on the uh, passenger side, you lift, well, as soon as you remove all those tubes, right? You lift and you have to come this way and up because you have to clear the eccentric shaft sensor. It will come out, as you can see, eccentric shaft is there. And that will also, we have the oil tube here, so you don't have to remove nothing of that. You just got pieces of those seals here. Wanna see? Yeah, they're just so brittle. Those pieces that you see, see I gotta seal one of those uh gaskets. Let me show you how that look. So all these all of these ones, they got a leap, they hold the back cover. And they're just so brittle and dry from age that they just break. That's what you see here. It's a little bit of a the plastic from the same. But don't worry. I will clean all that, put fresh oil in here. All right, guys. Let me keep going and having fun with the other side. All right, guys, next to seed with the other back cover gasket or back cover. Same thing. It was just a nightmare to remove those tubes uh, that were seized on the uh, back covers. This time I used this longer one and it worked out better because in order to reach the back, the back one, especially on this side, it's very hard with the short one. And I think like, well, let me try that one, you know, and, and it worked out very well. What you gotta do, it's kind of like put it against the edge, kind of like wedge it inside and then try to like spin it and at the same time push pressure to push the tubes in while you're trying to lift the bar cover with like a screwdriver or something on the side or your hand and it, it work out good. So it's, this is the other bar cover. Yes, you were going to make some marks in here. I mean, this is not a problem. Again, the important part of seals is the cylinder, not the edge at the bottom. And I mean, it is what it is. I even going to recommend to replace the bar covers as, as one piece. But we'll see. I mean, it's just, again, too pricey. One thing that I want to check, because if the eccentric shaft sensors are leaking, they have to be replaced. I haven't check that so let me do that with you guys and all you gotta do hopefully you guys can see that one is dry so that's fine 
and it seems like both are, are dry, so that's lucky for him because those are very expensive. I have no codes, so I will not recommend to replace those. I didn't remove the cam sensors on, on this side. It was not necessary. I was looking at the clearance, and when you lift it up, those are not going to heat. The only problem you have is the eccentric shaft sensor and then those uh, tubes. All right, guys, now the next phase or my next step will be to get that alternator unbolt and uh, start removing this front cover. Uh, this is a short cover that goes from here to like here to get this uh, joke out of here and stop that leaking. I'm just removing the silicone that somebody put, try to stop a leak just by applying silicone from the outside come on that is not going to happen as you can see this is it's just superficial it's not even inside so obviously that's not going to stop any any leaking you don't do nothing by applying silicone outside here you have to fix the gasket all right, guys, so let me keep going with that. All right, guys, uh, I got the alternator off. It's just hanging in there. Hopefully, you guys can see here. That was one of the bolts. Uh, it uses two E12s. Uh, these are the two. You need to remove this idler and the belt, obviously. Um, I removed this bracket because it's kind of like in a way that holds the positive wire that goes to the uh, alternator which is a still hold here by this bracket and the next thing that I want to do is uh, remove these uh, two um, intake and exhaust uh, oil solenoids and then I start removing the cover which I think I have enough room right now to to work I was going to um, record this but I'm not sure if I can actually get you guys that close no trying to get the arm as close as possible, but no, it's impossible. So, yes, uh, this is as much as I can show. I will be, of course, uh, remo uh, showing the remove at least guide you to what you need to, to get out. Definitely this wire is gonna be on my way, so I gotta get this bracket out, get the solenoids and start getting that uh, cover out now the alternator is just hold by those two uh, e12s pretty sure yeah e12s and then the um, pulley tensioner is an e50 e60 oh sorry t60 and uh, as you can see here well hopefully you guys can see I got a pin on the tensioner so I bring it to the maximum position and put a pin through the hole that has in there to hold it in place. That's kind of like the way they come to us. All right, guys. All right, guys. Uh, I got the intake and exhaust solenoids out. This is the way they look. All you got to do is remove the bracket outside and gently pry it from here, kind of like from the cover gently to release the seal on the on the o-ring got it set up here on the bench i just use these two tools kind of like one from the bottom and the other one from the top and then just you know wiggle it and wiggle it wiggle it wiggle it all right i think uh now it's just about releasing all the what are this? E6? Yep. Oh no. E8. I also already cleaned the engine underneath because that was just a mess. I can't. I can leave a car like that. Every job I do. I take a pride, like if it was my own,
try to do as much as I can. I mean, sometimes it's impossible, you know, because it's just so much. But I try to do my best. I know I'm probably going to be a lot in your way. I'm just trying to show you as much as I can because this is pretty much the end of the removing. And that's what I'm going to show you. Installation is in reverse order. So <laughs> having fun here. Man, let me stop the video one second. All right, sorry guys, I got a little interrupted in there. One of my friends, co-worker in here, so let me do a zoom in there so you guys at least can see me working. There's not much to show here. It's just a removal of the cover itself. You have to be like a contortionist to work in this in this course. I dropped the other day one of my things, the T20. Couldn't find it. Working on the Liberty, replacing the water pump and the thermostat. And it fell right on this side between the radiator and the covers, and I couldn't find it. I hate losing tools, because, I mean, it's just not nice. All right, so, I got this open. Maybe I can make the hoses actually open up a little. And it's got to be on this covers. I got different trays for everything. So right now I can open the pipes and let the socket go, hopefully. Oh, right, that's the idea. Not even close to where I need to go. And obviously that'll make it easy. I think it's better if I do this with the ratchet. Wiggling and handling all the thing. It's not making it easy. Let's see. And this goes to the stirring so a little bit prying in there it's not going to hurt and it's going to help me so let's get a pry bar for that let's see what we can do because now they yes you know open the pipes up yeah that's perfect Oh, like this, I can use the ratchet, the battery one. As you can see, now the car is loose. put a little bit of a pressure to open up the pipes and get the bolt out got it and hopefully we got enough room oh yes all right guys this is how that looks and obviously I mean a lazy person will never do this 
it's easier to put or easy to put just silicone outside and charge the customer the labor not me if you pay me to do a job you can bet that i will do it again uh so this is the end um uh, this is as much as i wanted to show which is a uh, removing if you guys need uh, information as far as to work or so let me know and i will uh, probably put them in the comments or send that an email to you i hope you guys like the video please don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up and share my videos as a way you can support me and help me if you think that information is important and help you please help me sharing my uh, videos and subscribing because you know with little ads that goes through the videos that's the way we support ourselves because this takes time and now go and edit all the videos and everything is is it's time consuming but i like it i like what i do and i like helping people all right guys see you next time